Hey y'all, it's Melanie Ferguson here, Southern Crush at Home. I wanted to show y'all a really quick, uh, easy, easy, easy um, trick that you can do to dress up a few of your favorite uh, inexpensive frames. So I will just jump right in. How are y'all? I um, Listen, if you're watching this live or if you're watching it on replay, please feel free to share it because the more we can spread it, the more um, people can view it and we want to spread the love. So I appreciate y'all. And then comment when you get on here. Hey, Miss Jamie. Uh, uh, just say hey so that I know you were here. Um, okay, let's get started. This is just, um, and my kids are going to kill me, y'all, for showing pictures sorry it says low network ah that's because i'm in crumb y'all okay let's see if we can get it closer to the window hey mom i see you on here okay y'all let me know if it's grainy or not looking like okay now it says it's working yay so i will get right to it this is uh, just a really um, inexpensive frame that I got at Hobby Lobby, okay? Enjoy my dog in the background too. Um, okay, so I already put my kiddos pictures in there, so we've got that. This is my after photo, so you can kind of see where we're going. All right, so we are gonna make this cute little ribbon uh, just to kind of dress up the inexpensive frame. <laughs> So it's kind of cheating the system, but we just want to um, get uh, this looking all pretty. Let me get it somehow where the light is not just killing me here. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, it's glistening. I'm sure a boy picture, they just love the little button here glistening. So what is really fun about this, okay, is that you can trade it out. So you can, do, I don't know if you, about y'all, but I get bored with my decor, and so I'm always wanting to either get new, um, but why get new when I can just um, trade it out? So this is just, I was going to, I thought of all different ways to put this on here, y'all, but I ended up with just Velcro. So it's just Velcroed on, y'all. I'm gonna show y'all how to do this. Um, it's really easy. It only took me a couple minutes, actually just before I did the video. So let's hop to it. Let me just, let me make sure you can see. It's just not a good, let me do a, a better light here. Ah, all right. So you can see the um, rhinestones, the bling. I added bling to it. So I'm hoping y'all can see the bling. Hey, Miss Sherry, how are you today? Don't forget to hop on and share and let me know you're here. So we are going to, woo, we are right now. We are going to um, do this together, y'all. All right, so I'm starting with my inexpensive frame, uh, like I said, and this one is just, uh, it's kind of textured. You can't really see that, but it's okay. So pick your favorite frame, or if you have an older one and you just want to paint it, painting is great too. I'm gonna put this just on the project, y'all, so you can just see. So here is what, where we're at. We are going to be starting with just any ribbons that you have or you like. So I could have gone Christmas 100% with this. It would have been awesome, but I went ahead and stayed a little bit neutral because these, the, these frames are going in my bathroom. So this is really not rocket science, y'all. You just take your ribbon, decide on the frame how much of it you want to cover up here with the bow. So you can make it small, or you can make it um, take up the whole thing and hang down. But I try to keep it where the picture itself is still able to uh, be seen. All right, so we are going to, well, actually, you know what? Start with your widest ribbon, your widest ribbons. So that's probably gonna be my uh, sheer ribbon that I got here, this one. And you can either do a point, or I like to do 
little tails. So if you're gonna do the tails, then you're going to um, cut it at the end, bend it and cut it at the end like that. Uh, it's hard to see with the shear, but uh, we're gonna do that to both ends. And I'm just kind of measuring it out on the frame so that I can see once I make a bow how long it's gonna be. And I wasn't exactly happy with the other one size, so I'm gonna go a little bit bigger on this one, or longer, for the um, ribbon. And this is, again, you cannot mess this up. We love the projects that you cannot mess up. So I have this one, and I'm just gonna do one just like it. So we want two of every, um, two of every color that we decide to go with. What are y'all doing today? Can y'all believe, uh, I think we're gonna get rain again? Just measure it with each one. All right, so I've got that, and then we're gonna go on to the next one. Of course, this would be really fun, y'all. Hey, Miss Karen, when are you coming? We gotta get that. We're still in the process, y'all, of the garage so I will be updating you as I have updates. This ribbon's a little creased, but I don't care. I'm just gonna go with it. Okay, so I was saying this would be fun if you had on like Christmas music in the background and you had like hot chocolate or something. But anyway, you could do this, like I said, with any um, colors. I'll probably change this out for the spring, and I might even do uh, something special just for Christmas ribbon on these. Um, again, you can't mess up, so you see I kind of went off there. I'm just going to even it up. And this is how we're going to make the bow. So you just keep going. This one, I decided on this, this smaller medium ribbon, not to um, do the dog-eared you know, tails. I decided to just do a slant. So we are just going to cut this in a slant. I'm still gonna measure it out the same length as the others. Two of every one. And I have one more neutral color, so I have this one left. Sorry, y'all, I haven't been showing y'all the, the ribbon very well. And you can go with less uh, numbers of ribbons or more. It's completely up to you. And then you're gonna want one ribbon that's smaller that you can use to tie them all together. So, Jamie, that's a great question. I get it every single day. Um, and I actually did a video on that a little while back explaining kind of what we were doing. But we are going to be um, announcing that really soon. So just stay tuned. We are going to be doing something that I think you guys are going to be excited about. All right, so this is just a little... Um, you know, what are they calling it? A button, they're calling it a button, but it's just a little knick-knack that I picked up at Walmart to add to the middle. Um, and I think it was like $1.97. So anyway, just, I like bling, so this is my version of bling. And you just kind of take it off the back here. Now here's where it gets a little bit tricky. Good afternoon, Miranda. How are you, my friend? This hole for it is really, really tiny, y'all. So I'm gonna thread this into the back of this crown ever so carefully. So I'm gonna bend my ribbon in half and thread it through the back. And I had quite a hard time doing this on the other one. You could always take regular um, string. Plus, it would probably be helpful if I had glasses on. I got it, y'all. I got it through. 
Woohoo! Give me some, give me some hearts for getting it through, y'all. <laughs> hey, Lonnie, how are you? And Debbie, got it upside down. So here's our little crown, and it's on its little string. It's ribbon. All right. So here's where it gets fun. I'm gonna go ahead and put the frame over here to the side, and I'm going to um, lay out my ribbons. So you want them to be in the order that you'd like. Um, oh, Jeannie, if you can't hear, then um, hit your volume button. Sometimes it you have to hit your volume button for it to, to start the sound. All right, so you want them to be in the order that you um, want them to show up in so the most prominent um, and of course I like the thicker the thicker ribbons to be on the bottom so I'm doing that I did the sheer and then the plaid I don't know if y'all saw the colors of the ribbons but this is just like a gray white and charcoal plaid all right so I'm gonna put those down and then I'm gonna go ahead and put the neutral gray on top of it And then, um, and you really, you can't mess this up. And then I'm gonna put the herringbone, gray and white herringbone on top of that. It's kind of going everywhere because these are wired. I guess that was kind of important to let you know that, um, hello, <laughs> these are wired so uh, they will, do what I want them to do. All right, we're going to just place one set of ribbons on top of the other set of ribbons and like a cross, a crisscross. So this is makes it where anybody can do this. All right, y'all. Just kind of want them loose. If you can see that, I have them loose and they're crisscrossed. And I'm just gonna kind of bunch them up together. I'm bunching them up together, both sides, just kind of squishing them together with my fingers. And then I'm gonna take, while I have it, like this, I'm gonna take the crown that I have and I'm going to tie it from the back, okay? So this is gonna go on in the center and hold all the ribbons together. Jeannie, you let me know if you were able to get the volume to work, okay? Because I don't want you to miss this. This is fun. All right, so I am going to double knot it, y'all. Hi, Kalini, am I saying that right? You're so sweet, and I just want to say your name right. All right, y'all, I did it in a double tie. So it's gonna, of course, fight me a little bit on where I want it to go, but I will win, trust me. You can kind of circle this around it to get it to um, stand up a little more. I don't know if y'all saw me do that, but, and then I'm gonna tie it again. We don't want that crown to fall off because it's a little bit heavier, of course, than all the ribbon. All right, I'm gonna double knot that. And then, this is where we're at. We've got a bunch of ribbons tied together with the little centerpiece, okay? Yay! All right, yay! Okay, so y'all, this is how easy this is. Now, when I say I make this stuff easy, I'm dead serious because I don't have time for that, you know, difficult stuff. Here is what I did. Went and got this handy dandy Velcro. Ah. I have it on backwards anyway um, so it I just got black and you guys I thought about you know hot glue in this but you know you could hot glue it but then you couldn't really change it out all the time you could um, I thought about using uh, oh magnets but then I thought well that might get messy so you just take your little sticker of velcro and again it's not perfect y'all you just eyeball it i'm just gonna say that's the center it's probably not the center but actually it's gonna make me crazy i just i want to move it over just a little bit all right 
Okay, so you just kind of set it in the center. And uh, don't forget, y'all, when you hop on here, tell, tell, say hey, and then um, be sure and share so we can get it around the internet um, if you like it. So, all right, this one is on. And then I've got the other one, and I'm going to go ahead and put it, hello, on the back of the bow we just made. All right, so just kind of center it as best as you can and smoosh it down. All right, so it's back there. So then I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna trim these uh, small ribbons that I used to tie on our little bling piece with. And then here's the fun part. We're just going to play with it and spread it out as best we can the way that we like it. So, with the wired ribbon, it makes it really easy, y'all. And you can kind of make it go where you want. You could do these all different lengths. You don't have to do them all one length. It's really something you can personalize and make your own. In fact, I might trim some of the longer pieces, y'all, because it's looking pretty long. So this is how I'm just gonna attach it on there. And then I will play with this probably forever to get it how I want it to look. But that is so easy, y'all. Let me know if you think you can do this because this is just, I'm going to go ahead and trim this. I can tell I don't like how long that is. This one too. You can always trim but you can't add, you can't add. So we wanna make sure when we're trimming that we've got, I mean, when we're cutting that we have enough. So it's easier to, of course, subtract than add when it comes to this. So this is, um, let's see. That one's a little much, y'all. <laughs> this one got to be a little much. But I'll probably go back and mess with this and trim the ribbon a little bit before I post it. Um, but this one turned out pretty darn good. It is the first one I did. And I just used a little round piece of bling. And again, it's just on there with Velcro. And I can change this out with the seasons or with um, my fickleness to whatever, whatever I want. So, I appreciate y'all for hopping on and watching this uh, quick little tutorial on how to do the um, fancy ribbon bows for our inexpensive picture frames. Um, we are going to be, well, we have a new website and I am going to be switching that over today or tonight so that you guys can hop on and see what's on there. Um, and let's see, we are going to be, um, uh, making a really big announcement probably next week. So y'all hop on and watch that. And then I'm going to post the blog on here from last week's project which was the Buffalo check and Jeannie is the winner. She was the winner last week for the sharing of the video. So you guys, every week when we share the video, you are entered to win um, a prize and Jeannie won a stencil of the um, Buffalo check. Jeannie, have you put it to good use yet? I'm sure you haven't because I know you're really, really busy doing your uh, shop. So anyway, you guys feel free to share. Y'all have a great evening. I appreciate you for hopping on and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.